Morning, everybody. Welcome to AWS Dean 2023. This is Chandra, and I am a GSI leader at the AWS uh, APO organization. And I'm here with uh, Prabhakar Apana, the SVP of AWS Business Unit at HCL, and uh, Shreya, a senior go to market specialist of uh, Code Whisperer. Super exciting to have a conversation with both of them on enhancing developer productivity using some of the greatest innovation that AWS is bringing to the market. Pleasure, pleasure to be here, uh, Chandra. And, uh, yeah, Shreya. I'm super excited. I know HCL has made a big kind of commitment with AWS. Super excited to talk about the collaboration. Yeah, so before we start, uh, I want to say, Prabhakar, thank you for being a gold sponsor for uh, AWS and bring a huge number of customers and your colleagues here to meet all of our AWS colleagues, as well as explain the innovation that we are delivering through the reInvent as well. So thank you, firstly. So moving on to the uh, point of discussion today, right? Like, what's your perspective on uh, how uh, the developer tools are enhancing uh, software development process itself or the efficiency of software development process? What's your perspective? See, from an HCL tech perspective, um, I mean, we work with all the industry groups across the portfolio globally. So the developer tools from a developing community, software engineering aspect, this forms a, the fundamental core uh, you know, platform in terms of looking at all the aspects of the development that we do with the uh, our client organizations. So it's one of the key fundamental uh, aspects uh, from a development of code perspective. And how do we do it and where do we use it? What kind of tools that we build is essentially very important for every client, every industry that we work. Uh, majority of our workforce is based uh, out of India and they are spread across 54 countries. So it becomes very important how efficient our, um, the actual workforce is in bringing those enhancements and tools for the client advantage uh, is, is, is the core. Okay, so, and uh, uh, we focus on actually looking at, uh, at various dimensions and various aspects of the developer productivity. Be it uh, uh, right from doing things in the coding aspect stage, be it design, uh, be it build, test, and to the end-to-end -end testing as well. So every aspect has got uh, the tooling and as well as uh, you know, the services that we use from AWS perspective to make it much more compelling. Uh, traditionally, what happens is when the sales community goes to the client organizations and positions and differentiates HCL tech, there is a large amount of developer productivity is considered. For example, when you're competing in a com you know, competing situations, you need to understand what efficiency that you internally have so that you can make those commitments to the client. So those aspects is really a kickstart and the fundamental of that is the developer productivity, yeah. right? So we use various tools, the, you know, ID is another important aspect. We have homegrown tools and we have tools that we have, uh, you know, um, you know, enabled them using AWS. So from a cloud adoption perspective, and there are software engineering specific tools. We work with the, you know, engineering clients heavily, and uh, there are tools which are respect to, with, with respect to the financial services and the industry groups. So various dimensions we look at in terms of uh, what will work for the client and what doesn't and how that tool is going to actually enhance uh, you know, our own productivity internally. So it's, 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 it's something which is fundamental to our, the way we work uh, from an HCL tech perspective. So HCL had a long history of engineering, right? Like you are a cow, one of the first companies that bought computers to India, so a long history of engineering excellence. Shivnader, your founder, has been one of the forefathers of computer revolution, IT revolution in India. So, but as the um, software industry evolved, right, and do you see that there is an impact of how you deliver to the cloud world in terms of cloud native development compared to traditional on-prem development, application development, do you see there is any difference and is there a way that your own tools, uh, your own platforms have evolved as you moved on to the cloud journey along with your customers? Absolutely, I mean, you know, uh, from an HCL tech, as you highlighted, engineering has been the differentiating factor. So we do work with several marquee clients from an engineering perspective and that really differentiates HCL tech 
from any other GSI that we currently, you know, in the market, right? So that has been the fundamental, you know, differentiation which AirTech carries. So how these engineering aspects help clients accelerate their cloud journey is an important element that we can, you know, uh, you know, want to spend a couple of minutes on that. If you look at manufacturing sector, we work with hardcore manufacturing industries, and uh, we bring, you know, homegrown specific tools to differentiate. Uh, the beauty now is with AWS partnership and the work that we are doing on the ground. For example, let me quote one PLM cloud, yeah. right? So, yeah. um, it's a heavy uh, data, in, you know, intense, uh, you know, uh, aspect. So, especially in the COVID times. Uh, the people were not able to walk into the manufacturing plants yeah. and look at and work from their desktops. So how do you make that data intensive, uh, you know, available on the cloud? So what kind of solution that we need to look at? Mm. So that's where the beauty of the cloud adoption comes in. So we have this homegrown tool. How can we make it much more cloud enabled so that, that the acceleration to the cloud happens and the people can access anywhere from any location um, you know, in terms of uh, uh, their systems. And if you look at uh, from, uh, from an uh, application point of view, uh, acceleration, so we have something called as an advantage code, um, you know, which, you know, you and your team was also aware, Chandra. So, so we looked at advantage code and we also looked at the new dimensions of uh, services which is offered by AWS from a generative AI perspective. So we are enhancing all of our tools. So that's a beautiful tool which actually helps client accelerate their application journey much faster, uh, you, know, uh, you know, from a cloud adoption perspective. So how, how can I use some of the AWS services, for example, AWS Code Whisperer and AWS Bedrock and, and the underlying fabric of Anthropic yeah. and, uh, you know, overlay on the advantage code so that for clients, it becomes one single, you know, uh, you know platform or a tool which accelerates their, you know, journey. So we look at all those dimensions and build those horizontals, you know, and the vertical solutions, which actually uh, is a great differentiating aspect. Yes. And uh, thanks to AWS as well, because they keep releasing those new services into the market, and it helps GSI for us to look at, explore, and integrate that for a you know faster pace By of adoption. We have ton of new announcements today on generative AI. If you haven't seen. Swami's keynote, you should definitely check it out. No, no, no. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. I just want to touch upon the advantage uh, cloud platform that you built, right? Like that is obviously an IDE that uses Amazon Bedrock with underlying cloud model to drive uh, faster code development. But beyond uh, Shreya is here, she is, uh, wears uh, Cloud Whisperer on her heart and carries the flag of Cloud Whisperer. But Cloud Whisperer, and firstly, thank you for the investment in the Cloud Code Whisperer so, as well, uh, in terms of um, committing to train uh, more than 50,000 uh, developers. Of That's a huge commitment, so thank you for that. So how do you see like Code Whisperer actually helping beyond Advantage Cloud? Is that, uh, how you, have you started using it? in your uh, client projects or are you using it to build your own developer capability? What's your perspective? Maybe Shreya, you can share like what you are seeing yeah. in the market as well. Yeah, actually first, yes. Uh, reinforcing the thanks, uh, you know, for that massive commitment. Um, and you talked a lot about developer productivity and how basically developer productivity is at like the forefront of any uh, project commitment for, you know, for big GSIs, um, uh, because I understand that, you know, the, be the better your developers are, more efficient your developers are, the better your time to market, and that helps with your compete situations. So we are seeing a trend of our partners, our big GSIs picking up on, so there's this sense of internal use of the service for their developers, but also building applications for customers. Um, and I know HCL's advantage is like, you know, sort of like this unified experience. So do you want to share how Code Whisperer would help you elevate sort of that experience with advantage? Absolutely, so uh, if you look at the, from to your point, uh, Chandra, I think it's a, it's a great collaboration that we are able to do it because the reason why we also did it is to uh, multi-dimensionals. Yeah. Number one, uh, we looked at, you know, uh, what is available in the market, right? And, uh, and the generative AI has been the talk of the town. Yes. So, and from a client perspective, we are seeing a lot of 
you know, questions coming to us saying that, okay, what is it CL do, tech doing? Because you are a long-term partner for us. So how are you innovating my own landscapes? Yeah. So what are you doing in terms of upskilling your team? You know, what are you doing in terms of bringing uh, new, uh, you know, uh, cases of how generative AI can be adopted in my own industry? So all these aspects we looked at and we said, okay, we have to do something very different and unique here. And we have a great partnership with AWS. And then that's why we said we will, you know, empower 50,000 of our resources, developers and engineers, yes. um, you know, to train and be enabled and ready, you know, with AWS Core Whisperer and the, you know, bedrock technologies. And thanks to that, uh, to you, Chandra, and the team as well, right? So that's, that's fundamentally very important. The reason why, how that gets help, you know, help in the, in, in the, in the market and as well as within own HCL tech is multidimensional. Number one, we are upskilling our people, yeah. okay? Yeah. And these are the people who work with various Fortune 500 clients. Yeah. So they bring the right context of generative AI to the client, yes. right? Number two, we have to identify, we understand the client business. So we are better positioned to actually build use cases, okay? And uh, how fast can you build these use cases? Uh, coming back to your question, okay, time to market is very important. Yes. So how quickly? But that's where the AWS Code Whisperer comes. Yeah. So Code Whisperer helps us actually, uh, you know, um, fast track things, helps in actually prompt engineering in terms of uh, the developer using it efficiently and building his own code snippets, uh -huh. which could be an accelerated incubation for solutions and industries across the board. So these are fundamentally very, uh, very unique aspects, you know, which is, which is, uh, you know, uh, from from an HCL tech uh, perspective. And uh, a third different dimension is, is also on uh, go to market. Yes. Right. Today, the clients want those use cases and solutions where their business can differentiate. Correct. Right. That's where you know it, it, something AWS Code Whisperer and with the combination of AWS Bedrock and Anthropic, yeah. really a key weapon for us to actually build those use cases for that industry and take it to market. So in terms of adoption, we are adopting that across the portfolio. We have made a big commitment on the financial services in terms of using Code Whisperer in our existing account, uh, some of the new deals that we signed with the clients, how can we actually accelerate those conversations and also help the client team train and enable so that's really working out. Okay. And we are looking at the manufacturing dimensions, insurance dimensions as well for the quicker adoption. So long way to go. And with the new services coming in, we need to understand also how this new services is going to enhance. So that's that's a quick picture for you from an HCL tech perspective. I'm, in terms I'm of. going to also touch base uh, to what Chandra mentioned earlier and you mentioned, right? So we talked about this unified experience and that is also given the announcements that were done uh, you know, at the keynotes. So Amazon Q is is our unified experience of like so many different services that are within it, within Amazon Q, right? You have Amazon Q for business. You have Amazon Q for Code Whisperer. So uh, I'm sure test you heard. Test case generation as well. Yes. You want test case generation. Test case generation, exactly. Pretty comprehensive. So, yeah. So it's a it's it's that unified one experience for for developers, right? And it's a unique case where we are launching things for the developers, which hasn't traditionally been always the cases, right? We launch new applications and product, products in the market, but this is really focused on developers. So given that, and you mentioned uh, Advantage, uh, HCL's Advantage Cloud, right? Using Bedrock and Code Whisperer. How do you feel, I know it's, we just announced it, but how do you feel about the you know, use of this portfolio, to, how does HCL and uh, AWS benefit together in, in, in collaborating on this portfolio? I'll give a cue. I, <laughs> I think um, what is happening is uh, there is a lot of generative AI kind of customers want to understand about it, but also you talked about it, right? What, how do you manifest all these generative AI capabilities to something that is tangible for me as a customer, to my line of business? What's the value that I'm going to generate? Yeah. And I think that will only happen if your developers are happy, right? And they're able to think and they're able to move fast, remove the undifferentiated heavy lifting or make it more customized for HCL way of developing. You have your own unique way of developing code and delivering value to the customer 
So I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I think like uh, this is how I think we will manifest uh, in partnership in with partnership, you. In partnership, yes. I mean, see, one thing is really surprising for me, honestly, right? So when Adam made that announcement on Amazon Q, I was like, wow, right? Because, you know, look at the pace at which the innovation is driving. Yes. Yeah. You know, you know, we've, we're talking about the adoption of uh, Code Whisperer and Bedraw, and coming something like groundbreaking differentiation with Amazon yes. Q is really, really, you know, amazing, right? Yeah. It, especially, so I give full credit to AWS and your wider team on coming up with something like that. Thank you. I mean, whatever I've seen, you know, on the, in the presentation, in the keynotes, it's just amazing. The it's dimensions at which yes. it can actually explore from a business, from an enterprise, yeah. uh, from a developer productivity perspective is is just unimaginable. Yes. We still need to get into the details of what it is and how yes. can it help. But uh, whatever we have seen is uh, that's really going to differentiate with the other hyperscalers as well, yeah. right? So you know every hyperscaler has got their differentiation. I think. Uh, Amazon Q is going to be the mojo of AWS in terms of that clear differentiation. That's yeah. that's something which I see. In terms of your question to um, how does that help internally yeah. for us and for yeah. our clients. Um, so there are, so we are a services company. Right. We are into servicing to the clients. Yeah. We also need to look at uh, uh, from, from, from that dimension in terms of how the market towards the services segment for the client is going to work uh, with the newer enhancements and the new cases is very important. And, and the underlying conversation for all these things is the data. Yes. Right? So you need to have the right data, you, you know, lake data engineering uh, elements to make sure something like an, you know, Amazon Q works and delivers better results. Right. So how enterprises adopt this and how they define the data fabric to actually feed into this is very, very important, yeah. right? Um, and uh, so there are, uh, I mean, we can get into the various longer conversations in terms of there are regulations with respect to North America and Europe and yeah. Asia Pacific regions. Yeah. The banking works in a different way. There is a federal, you know, there is a European laws, EU laws. So we need to look at all these dimensions, but from whatever I've seen, and if you get this data fabric thing right, I think we are we are at a, a, a big turning point. Good opportunity for the go-to-market aspect that yeah. you said your customers are looking forward to from companies like HCL. Absolutely, I and mean, the beauty is um, the integration aspects. What I really liked is um, you know how uh, this entire using the prompt on Amazon Q. Yeah would integrate with the backend systems, yes. be it, you know, EC2, S3 buckets, and as well as uh, your Amazon Connect uh, from a contact center perspective, and, uh, you know, AWS bedrocks, and bringing it together like a single pane of gas is something really different. It's all integrated, right? Yeah. And like, like what uh, you talked about, like data, you need to get data there. Uh, to kind of actually use generative AI. So zero ETL uh, announcement that Swami made like makes the data to be moving very, very fast into the places where you want to run the models. But we, we covered a lot. So on behalf of both uh, Shreya and I, uh, thank you once again for the partnership. Um, we were super excited to announce a lot of innovation today. But for us to take all these innovations and make it real for the customers in a way that they can ap appreciate and experience it is only possible by fantastic partners like you. So you're going to be super important in our journey to deliver this innovation to our customers. So thank you once again thank you. Uh, for your partnership. Robert. Thank you, Chandra. Thank you. Thank we you, look Shreya. forward to the collaboration and doing a lot of joint work in the coming months. So thank you for your thank participation, you. yes. Thank you. Thank you.